if a vocalist can sing one note and it's the most amazing thing for me, if, if Charlie Parker can do the same, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, Kenny Durham, that means that we can do it too. Freddie Hubbard, we can do it too. We can do it too. And our, our foremothers and our forefathers have shown us, they've shown us, they've left it. And, you know, one other thing that I want to point out shortly um, is that I think that there are a lot of things um, that are kind of done in, um, you know, kind of in plain sight, but it's designed in a sense to where we're not supposed to see it. So I think it's important to point out that the uh, entire history and lineage uh, from how I have experienced the history and the research that I've done was created by teenagers, uh, uh, slightly older teenagers and young, uh, just post teenagers. And this is the, the age grouping from, oh, who knows what, 14 to about 24, 28, anywhere between 14 to 28 uh, at a certain point. And, you know, a lot of folks didn't even make it to 23, 24, 25, uh, and definitely not to 40 or 35 in ages like this, right? And so I think that there's a there's a huge responsibility uh, on us um, and a um, a certain type of urgency that's, that's uh, needed to be able to identify who we are, because I think that our elders have shown us uh, as well that it does not take that long to be able to get to yourself if you're actually willing to have the habitual uh, uh, um, scope of how you want to um, manage your time and manage yourself. Because these are elements that feed directly back into the music. Whenever we separate, oh, this is just me over here, I do what I want, but then my music is here and I'm going to go and shed for an hour and a half. That is not, that's not it. We're always shedding. If this is the terminology we want to use, we're always cooking. That doesn't change. The only thing that changes is now the joy of being able to physically getting to spend time with the instrument. So now there should be a whole other level of focus with that time, but you're always in it. You're always in it. Um, but for me, I'm fairly neurotic when it comes to this music. I, I love music so much. So for me, I try to make sure that I am not completely harsh on myself, but I'm definitely hard on myself in terms of the way I push myself. And I know maybe everyone is not tuned that way, but maybe you have people around you that you know push and hang out with them. Um, make sure that you're isolating, not isolating, surrounding yourself, better said, with folks that support you and really push you. Um, in their physical actions and in uh, your motivations and everything like that, it's healthy. Um, and I say all of these things, even if it feels like I'm not talking about a B flat minor major right now, I am. The one thing is B flat minor major. If I start talking about, are you with BMI, ASCAP or CSAC? Now I'm talking about, you know, maybe an E minor, maybe I'm talking about E major, maybe just E, I don't need to know, just E, e open, right? What are the harmonies and how do these harmonies of industry versus uh, uh, you know, publishing rights organizations is your PRO, that's your CSAC, BMI, ASCAP. Certain folks may know about this, other folks may not, but this runs, you know, if you want to go play a Smalls Jazz Club in New York, for example, well, if you want to do this, keep in mind, Smalls has to pay a blanket licensing fee to these places because they present live music. This is, you know, so if you're not aware of this world, that's a whole other thing that runs at the same time that you play your original composition in this place. Um, and I speak this way because I'm trying to show you a totality when you play this B flat in this register, right? Everything has a direct industry standard and industry application. Now, if you're in your grandmother's house or if you're at home or if you're in your room with your practicing, um, I say specifically at home, not at school, uh, because even at school, you're still in major business. This is still major corporate business, whether it's like nonprofit or for profit or the mix of the two. That's still with institutions like that are right. So you have to be aware of where you are. So if you're a student in school, you need to be thinking about the music, but also be looking at all the business that's being conducted around you, all the economics, all the math, all the music, right? And how do you apply inside of that with your notes, with your art? Um, 
making sure that you're a fabric of the very thread in which you live. There is no separation between what you do, how you live, and what you give to everyday society as the human being that you are. And the more that you're empowered by self, the more you are going to be able to absorb right away what it is you're trying to get because it's going to be clear what you're trying to get. Once again, even if we can walk, that doesn't mean that we can get to where we're going if where we're going is not clear. And with clarity comes trial and error. But I prefer not to say error. I just say trial and learning. My trial could lead to something that could be winning, but even winning is still learning. Um, just as the perceived idea of losing. Um, these are all opportunities. Um, you know, sometimes a bigger win per se could be in the loss than in the win, you know, in the no instead of the yes. So these balances are are very interesting and, and come down to the unique nature of the situations and the the pragmatism of the the, the people and the the situation. So th the thing is is that uh, if you didn't expect to fall into the proverbial leather uh, couch on, on the counselor's, uh, 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 in the counselor's office, uh, then you have, but only for the best reasons. Because what we're attempting to do is to free you, is to open your mind. And if you're already open, let's open it up even more or let's reinforce that being open. Because from it being open, that's how we're able to tap into everything that we are trying to achieve in terms of direction. And then once direction is established, resource becomes a lot clearer in terms of what we need to get. Is it a book? Is it a lesson? Is it a, a performance? Is it a, a hang? Is it what, what was exposure, you know, a trip to the museum and exhibit? What is it? Um, and these elements are very important. I'm going to get more specific about a couple of other things um, in regards to the business, in regards to the shaping of sound, um, because I prefer to deal with singular notes and and go from there. We there's no need in talking about uh, the first twelve if you know we still have like twelve inside of one, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm.